What's up guys, now I got Roy. A ton of people probably noticed that I'm wearing the same clothes as in my uh, KK Roll analysis video. That's because I did them right after one another. So uh, yeah, I was on a roll. Anyway, so a lot of people hyping up Roy and I'm not sure how much hype he deserves. Before the Roy army attacks and says, wait, the buzz, Roy's top five probably in ultimate. I think it looks a lot better, don't get me wrong. But I'm not sure just how much better. He won, yes, the Japan tournament. And I think he won another tournament. This is pre-release stuff. You know, remember when people thought Bowser was like top tier because he was winning pre-release and early release tournaments. So yeah. Now as I said, let's talk about Roy and his changes. Um, I don't have a document with all his changes, I just have kind of Twitter like threads. So changes we have so far. Falling up air, it seems like it might be better now because it seems like the sour spot's actually bigger. Which is actually good for him because he loved getting sour spot up air combos. That was a huge part of his game plan. Uh his side B is just better now. It kills really, really well. Um, I think the side B is actually amazing for him. People don't fall out of it anymore, of course. It still covers things like spot dodges. It has a lot of range on it. It also looks really cool to hit with, and you know, style is very important. And we actually got a lot of nice buffs to his aesthetics, and that is, you need to have cool aesthetics to help your tier list placing. Uh, it seems like the sweet spot range on his Nair is bigger, which is really nice, because that was such a key tool for him. Um, he still has wave bouncing stuff. It seems like back throw has a lower knockback angle, but it doesn't really lead into much. It's just a lower angle. Apparently, it's harder to do his down throw combos and his far throw combos are basically gone, and that's actually a big deal. This is a character won't be in your face, mixing up with jab combos, which he still has apparently, and down throw combos. But if his combo game is worse, then his up close mix game is worse, and that's bad for a character who wants to be up close and really aggressive. Uh, generally, he got buffs to his sweet spot range. So that's just extremely nice. Uh, what else? Downer got huge buffs. He's still very fast faller, and I don't think he's trying to go off Sage much, so I'm not sure how much this downer buff is actually going to matter. But that's cool. Apparently, also, some of his combo game may have got hit. Like, apparently, like, Nair, Fair, Fair may no longer work if someone's DIing properly at, like, the percents of what before. But, you know, it's hard to really be sure of that. With that said, a combo based character in ultimate might struggle from the fact that combos are just worse in general it seems um fair auto cancels i'm not i'm assuming it didn't in smash 4 otherwise this wouldn't be like a a buff listed so that is a pretty big deal honestly even though the range on fair isn't the greatest it is a sortie fair so it is a bit additional it has a lot of power and i still it's nice um people are saying his jab hits beneath that for platforms now and thing is actually did that in smash 4 so we're not actually sure like it was very specific circumstances but it could happen so it's possible it wasn't actually buffed at all and people are just thinking that so we have to check later and that's basically it for his main changes and honestly i'm not sure how much better he's gonna be something people aren't really talking about is just the mix scheme might have with his jab because i noticed this before where it looks like he was jumping. I've seen videos of where like jumping top someone with like a nair or a fair. And then if the opponent tries to show grab him up close, he can, it looks like a jab and prevent the show grab. And obviously he has combo game. So if he still has some throw combos, he might be able to get in people's faces with like nair on shield and then mix them up with jab or grab. And considering his damage output is better due to better sweet spot stuff, uh, he still seems to have a combo game. That's gonna be really frustrating. And for me, that's like the big thing. If that is actually the case, where he gets in your face and mixes you up with jab, grab, and everything else, on shield you just have to kind of take it. And then if jab is or is not punished on block, I think it looks like a shield grab on block up close. But still, that's going to be really, really good for him. Um, The general movement changes should help him a lot. He had one of the worst dashes in Smash 4, although his extended dash chance was pretty solid. Uh, the fact that it's just general dashing wasn't the greatest is very committal. Um, I think this helps him a lot. Um, he still has the same weakness to kind of like when he jumps at you. He doesn't have much air control, so he's basically committed to whatever jump he makes. Um, a lot of moves in Ultimate seem like they're really good for setting people at awkward angles, making easy edge guard characters. Now, where is that B actually isn't easy to challenge. People always overrated how bad it was. It was actually pretty solid. The problem with the move was the lack of range. And Roy's fall speed plus air speed meant he got knocked off stage. He would just not be able to reach the ledge because his up he doesn't go too far. And I think that's the bigger issue in this game where he might just get hit off stage at like mid percents. 
from a lot of attacks and die. Especially because he's a close range in your face character, he gives himself a lot of openings for that. He should be combo food still because he's a heavy, not heavyweight, a fast, one of the fastest fall characters in the game. Um, what else? His up air does kill now apparently, which is a massive buff. He needed that buff actually. He had it was so dumb to up air people like at the top of the screen and watch them not die. <laughs> so that's extremely good. Overall, like. He didn't get as many changes as people, th I feel like, are imagining he did. And they are important changes. I think this character looks better. But I just don't see where all the, like, Roy's gonna be top tier, amazing character hype is coming from. And I guess this is really an analysis of this character so much as explaining my confusion over why people think these changes make him that much better. So... If someone wants to explain it to me in the comments below, they can. But yeah, my thoughts on him, to summarize, he's good. He got really nice buffs all around. But he still carries the same weaknesses of low range for a sortie, really committal play style. Doesn't really have much versatility in his moveset. He kind of just wants to be close, hitting buttons and comboing you. Should still struggle with the same things they feel like combos, uh, faster frame data characters up close. Not combos, uh, projectile characters who can really zone. Uh, characters with very good frame they up close and those characters had more range than him to be able to not let him get in their face in the first place with this said guys peace out